Welcome to Atticon Plays Railway Empire. All right. Hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to Season 3, Episode 4 of Railway Empire by Request, the automobile. So, uh, in the last two episodes, <laughs> we uh, they were one big one I split in two, basically, but we got our, uh, we got the gas running. We, we set up a big, a long line here to run oil from this uh, oil well or oil field to a com computer placed oil refinery in, in Louisville. And we started then taking the refined oil, which is gasoline in this case, up to a warehouse here in Chicago, which then it was consumed by the city of Chicago. We started uh, generate, making some automobiles. And we um, then we also worked on getting three cities to grow to 120,000. So we worked on um, Duluth, got it up to, it's up to 160 now. And we got, Chicago had grown up to 160. And now we've got uh, Toledo growing. It's at 123, and our ultimate goal with Toledo is to get into 100, or excuse me, to 200,000. And we're gonna have to watch this and plan how we're gonna do this to make sure all this happens. So anyway, we, we now have three cities that are big enough to take automobiles. So there we go, we've got some customers, Duluth, Chicago, and uh, Toledo. Plus Toledo has that uh, warehouse that takes in two there, so there's, Toledo will be a big customer, and uh, oh look, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone, 1913. So then beyond that, while we were waiting on the, the growth of Toledo to finish off, we started setting up, getting ready for our next uh, phase. Our next phase is going to be to get that automobile production really cranked up. So we've got our second automobile factory here in uh, Rochester, and we've got oil already coming to it. Uh, it, well, on its way. Let me see if we've got any coming. Yeah, here comes some. We've got some on its way. So we've set that up so that we're delivering oil in here. And our plan is to grow Rochester to 90,000, put in an oil refinery in Rochester. And that way we can make, we can run, we'll have the oil there. We'll put the refinery, make the gasoline. The city of Rochester can then, the auto, industry, our auto plant here in Rochester can take the gasoline and take the um, steel that's already set up to take from uh, Duluth and make automobiles and by the way ship the automobile bills to some extent back to Duluth otherwise have them in this warehouse where we're going to take them from that warehouse to this warehouse and sell them to Chicago if they want them and then anything that's left over we're going to have a line that goes and we might as well set that up while, while we're thinking of it. We're going to have a line that goes here, like so, and here, like so. And that line is going to uh, take automobiles to Toledo. And we should be okay. Yeah, 45%, 62%, we're good. Okay, so very cool. Uh, so we're kind of set up for our next phase because what we have to do next is transport automobiles to towns, produce in two cities, and load and, and get that up to four. Now what we're going to do, what I'm going to try to do, we'll see how it works. If we can get the transporting done, I want, I don't want this automobiles up to four. I'm going to use that as the governor that says, okay, we're done. And that, that'll give us some time to do these three optional tasks because we have to get them done. I want to get them done before we finish the main task. So that's the plan. And you can see our money's starting to rack up now. We're, 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 we're a decent little company now. We're going to pay these off and see how big it, we could get a two million loan. We could get two, four, oh, ah. <laughs> well, okay, we've got an analyst, okay. I'd like to buy the guy out. Usually I use the analyst to make money. Let's do, let's go the other route. Let's go this way. Let's go, um, let's open up the two biggest bonds we can get. And let's look at uh, our competitor. It would cost 11.4 million to buy him out. We're gonna go hire an analyst. And we're gonna say, Mr. Analyst, I want 
Johnson Johnson's share prices to go down. Then we're going to go back here and look at Jonathan Johnson. See, look at that. Look at the amazing difference that made. Uh, we'll buy. There we go. That dropped his price like $4 million. So we got a nice deal on that. We bought 74% of him in one big chunk. And... Uh, <laughs> uh, while we're waiting on... Rochester to grow, I can't think of anything any better to do than just to finish off Jonathan Johnson and get rid of him. For one thing, he's invaded Toledo. He's probably helping grow it a little bit, but he's just so inefficient. No, no, no. He's got to go. He's got to go. Oh, that, that analyst was great. Um, now, to finish him off, we need $2.7 million. Let's just uh, let this run for a bit. trying to think if there's anything else we want to do. I actually think we're good. Uh, we're good. We get rid of him. Now, now I did think of doing this. One thing we could do is start a bid. <laughs> we could start bidding, for example, for this car, car industry, which is a level two now. First bid would be very expensive. Do you think he would follow up with a bid? That car industry is up to a level two. You think we could sucker him into buying that and then we'd buy him, but I think that would actually add to his value, so we won't fool with it. 2.5. That analyst was tremendous. We got we got a, lot, a huge discount on that stock. We could sabotage him, but I don't, I don't go for that stuff. Um, I don't pay blackmail. Uh, better applicants, sure. Uh, I said, wait, how is this doing? It's at 78%. And it's almost at 90. We're almost there. So we, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buy Jonathan out. 2.4. Uh, we're almost there. There we go, good timing. Rochester just hit 90. We're gonna merge with him, we're going to liquidate everything, and then we're gonna take all that cash, and we're gonna go right here and put in a refinery. Put it over here right next to our uh, car plant, and our refinery is immediately producing automobiles. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now what we need to do is kind of match everything. Well, we also need, I'm going to show you a little trick I picked up from Maxim on the Steam forums. Okay, well, this is my modification of his little trick. We're going to set up a line from here and run full. Actually, that's all we'll be able to take. Slow down. And we want it to go... Uh, shoot, what did I do? Slow down. I hit the wrong button. Okay, we want to set up a line. We want it to run full out of a out of a um, auto signal warehouse station, and we're going to run to this warehouse over here. And when we come back, we're not going to bring anything. Okay. And then what we're going to do is say, when you leave this warehouse, we want you to hit this little waypoint right there. Notice how it forces him over into track four. And what's really cool about this is that watch where he spawns when I, when I uh, select him. Uh, oh, <laughs> if he had a train. Oh, we picked up all these trains from our buddy. The Hudson 74, the Texas 55, Santa Fe 64. Right, we're gonna keep running the Berkshire. I like the Berkshire. But notice where he spawned over here on this side. And our refinery is up and running and creating uh, automobiles. I don't think we shouldn't be consuming them here. Uh, no, see, we don't have a demand here. We do have a creation. And look all over the map, there's 8.9.
uh, that cities want all over the map. So we could do a lot of this, 8.9. So what we can do now is say, okay, how much steel do you need when, you, when you're that big? Um, you want 0.4. And 0.4, we need at least 1.2 out of our steel mill at the minimum. So we're gonna to have to bump this baby up. It'll go up to 1.6. And now if we're gonna we're gonna to have to see if we can uh, see 1.6 iron ore. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, 1.6 iron ore. Okay, he's making plenty. We are carrying it takes 71 days, so we do not, we need another train. So what we're going to have to do here is double track this line that we're running our um, iron ore on. And I'm going to set the signal going that way. And how did he get back there? That was a little freaky. He was way up here. Uh, and then what we say, we need 0.8 of the coal, but the city itself, okay, now, now, oh, I'm so glad he's gone. All the, all these bids are so easy now. Uh, this guy here, what's his, uh, route time? Uh, 122, how can it be 122? How could it be 122 days to go from here to there? Oh, maybe it's taking some average from how often it actually runs uh, because of the of the loading. I, I, maybe that's it. I don't know. That's a new one on me. All right, we're making 1.6 steel, so that should be enough steel. Um, but look at this. We're starting to get some cars. And we also have a bit of a traffic jam here. Why is this so crowded? Twenty-seven percent. That's that's pretty high utilization. We've got a lot of stuff coming in here. That's also just not acceptable. We'll, uh, we're going to speed it up a little bit by going like this. We're going to give this a lane, and I'm going to delete this track right here. And that track right there and we're going to bring this in bringing it all the way down here that will completely solve the problem but it, it could it could help some at least that at least that middle piece of track won't have so much stuff going on you come up here come right there Okay. Missing equipment. Well, he's headed for equipment, but they apparently, okay. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Supply Tower strikes again. Here we go. It's probably this big long sugar line. Just, uh, is he sugar? Yeah. They just don't hit one fast enough. Okay. We've got five for export, and are we taking them to town? See this? We're taking three already, and my guess is that they are three that are, um, that have gone up here. Uh, well, they've already consumed them if they did, but, okay, let's pause for a second. Um, Okay, and, and let me finish off that thought about the little thing from Maxim. Uh, the neat thing about this is I can run full with this train, make him spawn on, on a track other than one, which is actually useful in and of itself. And uh, the trains coming in here will still use the other three tracks. And if he's not there, if there's no train in there, uh, the, the trains coming in here will actually use that track as well, which is kind of cool. And uh, and 
and the fact, since they're going this way and going out of this track, they'll come back this way and they can just line up and wait here. They won't affect our oil coming in. So we don't need to do anything special with waiting areas, shunt lines or anything like that. Although we certainly could. Okay. So we got more than enough oil for this car industry. We could certainly pump it up one. We certainly will. We got money now. Now, now we can overcome Doc's pathetic ability to upgrade stuff. So now we've got 0.8. Uh, will it tell us uh, over here? This would be nice if we could just look at the steel. Uh, weekly demand is two, and we're generating 1.6. So that tells us we need to upgrade our steel again. Steel industry upgrade one more time. So now we're making enough steel to support that. There goes our train, so I think I'm going to copy him. And another one will pop out there. And we're also going to set up a line here. Uh, oh, oh, the other thing we're going to do, we're going to buy this. There, now we own that, and that ended one of our tasks, which was produce automobiles in two places. Uh, Toledo's up to 178, so we just need to get that gasoline production up. So what we're gonna do there is, first of all, we're gonna buy this refinery right here. Okay, it was at 4.8, so. Uh, we may need more uh, 4.8 refinery. It's getting enough oil. But a 4.8, well, we got to check that. 4.8. Uh, oh, no, that's, that's the other one. Uh, this one. You're at 4.8, good. Uh, but we probably can't. Can't. What else completed? Oh, we got our gasoline production. <laughs> okay, that was easy. Toledo's almost done. So now it's just transport a lot of automobiles. So we just got to keep building up that industry. But what I was about to say is we only have four trains and that takes them 142 days. So that's just better, a little better than one. And what, what are we asking for here? 4.8. We need more trains. We need to, we're going to bump up the trains on, uh, on this line. Okay, Rochester's blown through. Now Rochester's going to start eating cars. <laughs> it's going to make it harder and harder for us to uh, ship them off, but our oil refinery now needs to be up a little bit. Come on up. So we get, our oil refinery needs to be producing oil a little faster than this thing can use them. I'm going to expand this one as well and we're going to have a car or a train it goes here to here uh, no no that's not right oh yeah warehouse one cars on well you know what it could take it could take either one but cars preference run full and we want it to, we'll do that same little deal. We'll run it out of track four, which is, how would you make it run out of track four? Uh, oh, we want it to hit this, uh, there. We want to hit, hit that waypoint right there. So fire him up with a uh, Berkshire. Train ever going to get there? Uh, 
Oh no, that's another one. We got both of them running. Let's uh, copy it. Put another one in here. And are we getting anywhere? We've only taken three to towns, according to this. Uh, we need to expand that, for goodness sake. finish now. Okay, Toledo's grown. We've got all our optional tasks. Oh, we're good. Then we can just go as fast as we want. we got to get these automobiles shipped somehow. One, one minor problem we have, we'll call it a design flaw, if you will. Um, we have uh, our car industries in towns that are eating the cars, uh, right? But we can, we, can, we can just keep making them bigger. This car industry right here can go up one more level to 3.2. Now, if it's 3.2, what are we producing down here? 4.8, good. We should be fine. Uh, something else completed. Oh, the four loads. All right, so we're done with everything except shipping our, our cars. Uh, now, I've got to confirm it. We're going, we're going to test it right here. Here comes eight cars into this warehouse here. We're going to see if that counts as shipping them. If it doesn't, I'm going to redirect it into, from now on into the city itself. Uh, says he has 2.3. He should take them out of this warehouse and that should count. Let's just see what happens. How many we got? We've got uh, four right now. Okay, that guy has a full load. How many we got now? We've still got four. Here comes another train. There's 10 in here. We've still got four. Is he not taking any of them? Probably not because we're producing enough uh, in the city. So we've got we've got cars here. So we're our trains here. So let's take this uh, warehouse one to Toledo. Let's copy it, make another one. I see he can't come out because this train happened to stop in that in that uh, platform, and he's probably getting serviced. He'll get service when he leaves, then, then this, that train we just created will pop up here on track four. There he is. And he's loading up with cars to take them to Toledo. Now here they have to be given this credit because it's, we're not taking it to a warehouse. We're literally going to a town. Uh, with which one? Not that one. that one right there. So we'll just speed this up a second. Do I want, yeah, I'm gonna buy that meat industry. <laughs> and how many we got? We got, right now it says we have six. Let's see what happens when he, and I imagine Chicago or maybe we ship some more to Duluth or whatever. Here comes, that should be eight coming in there. And now we're up to 14, okay. How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh. 
This guy's being loaded. Okay, let's slow down for a second. Let's do a sanity check here. Um, okay, we finished that, 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 and that. And we've got, uh, see what? It's December of 1914. So we've got 1720 years to finish this. Nineteen fourteen. <laughs> okay, okay. This is hard. All right, there we go. We got six months to finish. Oh man, are you kidding me? Is it possible we won't make it? Uh, Okay, bless it. Uh, we're up to 26. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. I think our steel industry needs a boost. We'll do 5.5. .5. And I'm even going to double track this here like so and we will give uh, give this guy a friend okay he's making One point six a week, and we're asking for two point seven. So we need to buy that for a small fortune, raise it up, and how much uh, we're asking for five point five iron, and this guy is making three point two. We're going to buy that for a small fortune, and then as soon as we get some money. Go get some money. Bump this up a couple of times. Give this guy some help. All right, now, now, I think we may have failed. Could, could we have failed? Nineteen twenty. Oh, wait a minute. Can't read. July of fifteen. Oh, we've got okay, we've got six more months. Uh, how are we looking? Twenty six. All right, we need to look at our total the total deal here. So we can go in here and say steel. Steel, steel, steel. Uh, demand. Their production is 5.5. Demand is 3.6. Uh, oil and gas. Uh, production of 7.2. We need more oil to be produced. It looks like. Are we matching down here? 1.6. We are. We can raise this up one. 2.7. We can raise this up one. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, it's ridiculous how much he has to pay. Train heading out and one moving in to take its place. Okay, we're good there. The car industry. Not getting enough steel. Do we have it to export? Not really. We are in theory making enough. Refuse to lose to this. I absolutely refuse to lose to this. This is tight. This is really tight. Missing equip. Uh, do we need another supply tower? Can't believe we do, but there we go. 42. Here comes a bunch of them. President, perfect score, perfect score, good deal, good deal. Took us about five and a half years. Outstanding. So let's go back and see where we are on this. Uh, yeah, of course, we got all gold ticks. Now, um, huh, that was tight. I mean, we, we, we only made it by a month or so to hit all gold ticks. Everything was tight, so it tells me I could have done better. I'll have to think about it and see what else I can do. But anyway, that's how you get all gold ticks when you can't just deliver to warehouses and you've got to deliver it to a town, to the towns. You got to keep on this one all the way. And you see how we did with Doc. We just uh, did uh, minimal industries, whatever we had to do to get along at the early point until we really had some money and we got rid of our opponent and we could go in and just kind of buy what we wanted and pay ridiculous prices for stuff and, and boost production and whatever it took. So for for us, it ended up with one really good steel mill, a level five up here in Duluth, and two refineries, uh, level three here in, um, Rochester and one here in Louisville that was a uh, level three and then we ended up with car we had a level three cars in Chicago 
and the one that really kind of drove our business was a level five in Rochester. So there we go. <laughs> and that was, honestly, that was really fun. That was great. In fact, I think I have a new favorite. Uh, I think this one, this one surpasses Gold Rush in terms of things you have to do in order to uh, get your gold tick. So hope you enjoyed that. I truly enjoyed playing it. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next, and uh, we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.